In this tutorial, I will show you how to 3D model this granite and you're gonna learn 5 important tips in Valence 3D. Start with the sphere and change radius resolution to 8 and angle resolution to 12. Select the top vertex and dissolve it. Do the same for the bottom vertex. Scale the sphere on the y-axis. Now select all the faces except the top part. And here comes tip number one. To extrude each face individually, select extrude and make sure the keep face together button is turned off. Inset all the faces. Now tip number two. To pull out all the faces, select extrude, but this time don't drag the blue handle. Instead, drag from the middle of the highlighted face. Now select the top face and grow select one time, then move them up, shrink the selection one time and move the face up more and give it a nice green color. Add the cylinder, scale it down and move it to the top. Insert and extrude. Change the color to gray. Insert another cylinder and move it up. Select half of the edges and delete them. Select the last two edges, extrude them and move them to the back. Select the top corner vertices and move them to the front. From the top view, Select the four vertices of the back and scale them down on the x-axis. Switch to the edge selection. Insert a loop cut at the bottom and the top. Now tip number three. To select edge loop, when you double tap on face or edge, it will show you the possible edge loops you can select. You need to quickly tap on it. Now you can extrude the edge loop. This time we need to keep the faces together. Do the same for the top edge loop. Now to close the missing faces, select each two edges and use the bridge tool. For the top, select the inner edge loop and select fill hole. Do the same for the bottom edge loop. Now select the large face on the side and insert. Adjust the position of the new face. Then add edge loop. And scale it up on the y-axis. Select the two faces. And use inset 
that extrude to the inside a few times. Now add a new edge loop to the back. Select the middle two vertices and insert the edge. Do the same to the bottom. Now for tip number four, always use the mirror modifier on half of the mesh. Otherwise you will end up with overlap vertices. So select half of the mesh and delete it. Then add the mirror modifier. Delete the inner faces of the hole and change the color to gray. Now add subdivision modifier and you will notice that we lost a lot of hard edges. To fix this problem, we can insert edge loops and creases. First, select the edge loops you want to crease and use the crease tool. and insert a new edge loops near the edges that have a problem. Turn off the mirror modifier for now. Now select the back upper face and extrude. Rotate and adjust the position. Do it a few times to make the handle. Now delete the inner faces and turn on the mirror modifier. Adjust the shape of the handle if necessary. Now for the safety pin, add helix object, reduce the height, major radius and minor radius. Tip number 5 To snap the rotation while rotating, hold one finger on empty space. Change the color, then add subdivision modifier. And add two edge loops for both ends.
Now add a new helix object, make it smaller, and this time reduce the angular resolution too. Adjust the position. Select two faces and extrude them. Add subdivision modifier and two edge loops at both ends. <laughs> 